A few months back, I made a video exploring some games that were either clones or inspired by RuneScape. Everyone seemed to absolutely love that video, and I really enjoyed making it. So using suggestions I found in the comments, I have decided to make a part 2. If you want to see the original video, it'll be linked on screen at the end of this video or now in the description. It's not really necessary that you watch it first or second, you can really do it in whatever order you feel like. But I don't want to ramble on anymore, so let's just get into the first game. First up we have Qville, a MMO that Mudkip says he used to play whenever he didn't feel like logging into RuneScape. This game has been around for a very long time, and used to go by the name Fordana. Or Fordana, I don't really know how to pronounce it. Out of all the games in this video, this one seems to be the most well established, as it has its own subreddit and wiki, although both are very inactive. If you couldn't tell by the website design, this game is, like I said, extremely old. I don't know exactly when it opened, but the change from Fordana to Qville seemed to have happened in 2008. Just reading through this website, it's just the most wholesome thing I've ever seen. <laughs> the creator has a news post from 2009 titled Quit Cussin, which says, I am getting annoyed at some of the forum posts where people bring cuss words into the conversation. It takes me time to remove these posts, so I am issuing a warning to stop. The developer would also wish everyone a Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, and all that. And the game even used to have its own MySpace page. I just love it all so much. What really takes the cake is their Earth Hour event. For those that don't know, on Saturday, March 31st, thousands of cities and millions of people around the world will be turning their lights off at 8.30pm for one hour as part of Earth Hour. Qville will be participating in this event by having all cities enter darkness mode throughout the entire day. Alright, so enough of this heartwarming stuff. Let's get into the game itself. First of all, let's look at the complete Qville guide. This game is really small. There's only about 5 sets of armor in the game for each combat style as far as I can tell. However, a lot of the guide's pictures no longer exist so I don't really know how accurate that is. Qville follows the same armor progression system as RuneScape, which is bronze, iron, steel, and then I believe there's custom armors after this but I don't know what they're called. It has similar skills like mining, smithing, cooking, arson, which is pretty much just fire making renamed, fishing, and so on. The first thing you can fish in the game is, ironically, a crab. <laughs> Actually, looking at some of the screenshots, this game is just downright adorable. Like, come on, one of the maps is literally a heart. So this guy pours his heart out making this massive guide to help new players, and the first response is, cool dude, and in his signature, it's a clan banner. Like, if this is an old runescape, I really don't know what is. Now, the game itself hasn't been updated in almost 4 years, but as far as I can tell it's still online and playable. The forums themselves also are pretty inactive, really the only semi-active one is the off-topic section. So, yeah, chances are if you do decide to give this game a shot, you're not really gonna run into anyone else unless they've also watched this video. Now, if you thought Qville was adorable, wait till you see Tale of Toast. It's an MMO that got released sometime early last year, and was developed by only two people. So first of all, the developers have talked about how much RuneScape inspired their creation in this game, and when you go looking for it, you can absolutely tell. First of all, when you create a character, you're simply just a human. Just like RuneScape, there's no set classes. The game has a variety of crafting and gathering skills, for example alchemy, blacksmithing, carpentry, mining, botany, fishing, and so on. The game prides itself on having a variety of high quality quests rather than a bunch of standard kill 5 goblins type quests. The death mechanics are also fairly punishing, much like runescapes, with the whole keeping the 3 most valuable items, skulls, and so on. Not to mention, the game doesn't have an auction house or grand exchange, so much like the old days of RuneScape, everything is player to player, so you pretty much have to interact with other people to get around this game. So the game itself is adorable, and what the developers promise seems really good. However, the reviews are just kinda average. The main gripe seems to be with the controls, and that everything in it is just too slow. Not grindy, just slow. Like walking, regen speed, and so on. Some players also claim there's not much of a story and the quests themselves are not what the developers say they are and are just too generic. So from what I'm seeing, it seems to have a good foundation, but it's a little too early for early access I guess. This game could be something really good, it's just it needs a little bit more polish. But who knows, based on the reviews maybe you'll like it, maybe you'll hate it. 
So I think we have time for just one more game, and this game is a game inside a game. Confusing, right? Well, not really. It's RuneScape, but in Minecraft. Not just a map or a mod, but like the entire game recreated in Minecraft. I heard about this project years ago and even played it a little bit back when it first came out. So logging into the server only to see zero people online was a little sad, especially because back in the day there'd be dozens, honestly sometimes even hundreds of people playing. So I log in and it looks like I don't have my stats from whenever I started playing in Stardom Tutorial Island. It has me install a custom resource pack and honestly with it on this entire thing looks really good, like all the weapons, inventory, and so on. The way you gather confused me at first because it's not like normal Minecraft, all you do is click once on the tree with your axe and you're pretty much set. As long as you don't walk away your character will chop until it gets one log, so just like RuneScape. I was just really surprised they were able to recreate these mechanics. The same works for fishing, mining, and so on. The tutorial itself is actually really cool and I got through it pretty quick. During it I learned that the game more or less does have all the same mechanics as RuneScape. If you want to go try something in the game and you think about how it works in RuneScape, chances are it works the same. It's turn-based combat, all the spells and prayers are there, it has most of the skills, overall it's really solid. Things like farming are weird because you train pretty much by just hitting plants, but it's about as accurate as a Minecraft version of RuneScape can get. I was a little low on health when I got to Tutorial Island as well because the chickens that you actually have to fight hit really hard. So I tested the death system and it's, it's actually really cool because you get this little gravestone and everything and you walk up to it and instantly you have your stuff back. I think my only real issue with this server is that it really does show its age because Lumbridge is still decorated for Christmas and it is currently May. The game even has its own custom quests and as far as I can tell it doesn't copy paste them all from RuneScape but then again I only started one and didn't really look around to find others. Honestly though, and I'm not just saying this for the video, I really enjoyed playing on this server. It was easily one of the coolest player made creations I've seen in a very long time, and I'm kind of a little sad that it's not as popular as it used to be. Anyway, I think that's all I have for this video. 